welcome to yet another beer and food review with me, Peter the Master of Puppets. This is my dinner here, which is a, a steak, it's a rump steak, along with a little salad. It's just a plain salad with the lettuce, tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, a cucumber, some feta cheese and uh, some Thousand Island dressing. I didn't want to bother making a proper one. And here we've got some um, potatoes, that's small chopped potatoes that's been in the oven for about an hour in a huge tray. Uh, where you put salt on them, oil, like uh, olive oil, and then some uh, uh, thyme, thyme or thyme or whatever, it's, I think it's called thyme, I'm not sure, but you put that on and it tastes great. Now the beer for today, it's going to be a really, really special one actually, it's going to be a Belgian one, not so sent to me from uh, Belgium in a box, it's going to be uh, from De Dolle Bluvers, it's going to be the De Dolle Urbia Special Reserve. Now the thing is uh, with De Dolle that they have this beer called Urbier, which is one of their trademark beers. It's a Belgian strong ale. I've uh, I've had it once. It's been a while. It's really really good. Now this is this thing, it's kind of kind of very dark fruit, a very dark fruity Belgian strong ale. I'll say Belgian strong dark ale. But the thing is with this one, the special reserva, is that it's uh, this has been aged in Bordeaux wine casks, which is really cool because the beer itself already has a vineyard kind of character. Now, it's, this is a 2008 vintage, so it's been aging for about three years, so I'm looking forward to try, be trying this a lot. I've been having it for, in my cellar for quite some time. And uh, now, it's on 13%, so it's a really big beer. So here we have it. It is a nice, real nice ruby, by the way, I'm using my Huldendrag tulip. It's really nice, dark, ruby red color. Looks kind of wine-like, with a nice two finger, it was more frothy when I just poured it, um, off-white, slightly beige. Mocha colored kind of head. The aroma smells amazing. Wow. <laughs> wow, it smells a lot like red wine. It is one of the most vineyard aromas I've had in a beer ever. A lot of red wine, some funk, some kind of cherry notes, dark fruit. Yeah, um, basement kind of aromas. Uh, a brown sugar, kind of sugary aroma to it too. The most powerful thing is really those vineyard notes, the dark fruit, the kind of cherry, dark cherries. Subtle oak in there, subtle, subtle, subtle oak. It says oak barrels, doesn't it, as well? Yeah, aged in oak barrels. Um, now, don't smell that it's a 13% alcohol beer at all. It smells amazing, though. Let's give it a taste. Wow. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> now that is awesome! Oh my god. Oh, I've got some grease on there. Now the body on this, it's medium to full. Quite dry, like a dry white wine, but oh my god, that flavor is amazing. It reminds me of McKellar's Santa's Little Helper 2009 Barrel Aged Edition without the spice. I get sour notes kind of like in a tart, or a, in a wild or sour ale. Flemish brown, a lot of vineyard red wine character, the oak, especially in the initial sip. Uh, don't taste the alcohol at all. I don't taste the 13% at all. I feel the heat, but that's it. Now some dark fruity notes. Good, a slight amount of tartness. Oh, it's quite dry as well. Uh, dark fruity notes, uh, cherry. Funk was more in the aroma. There is some funk here, but not as powerful as in the aroma. Um, flavor, other than that, I get kind of almost in the aftertaste a chocolatey note, which is kind of strange. Very, but a lot of those like dark fruit berry kind of things with the cherry. Way more complex than a wine. Oh, it turns out I'd rather drink this. Maybe a caramel note in there as well. Great. Let's taste the food here. A, <laughs> I was about to use the bottle opener for a knife. Let's I'm gonna try the steak first. I hope it's medium rare. I cooked it to be medium rare, but I had to leave it for a while. Uh, it's about no oh, medium rare. That's not what I meant rare, but it's red, slightly red. But let's taste the steak. Mmm, that's good. Um. Pretty juicy, pretty, um, um, what's it called? It's, um, 
wow, I lost the word even in Danish, but really good. Very tender in there anyways. Uh, let's also try these potatoes here. Screw the salad. These are really good. Mm, yeah, and you can definitely taste the thyme. Um, but let's try a little piece of steak, some potato, and oh yeah, there comes the red over here. Nice. Now, let's try here and try it with the beer. Wow, that's one of the best food pairings I've made on this show. Wow, that goes really great together. The vineyard notes, along with the cherry, kind of dark fruit notes, goes really good with the, the steak. Wow, that's a really nice combination. Oh, this is good stuff. It's definitely a sipper though. Uh, even though you don't taste the alcohol, because it, it does feel like a big beer. But, really great stuff, guys. Definitely check out the, the Special Herbia. Uh, special Urbia Special Reserva, but rating wise for the Urbia Special Reserva by the dollar, it's getting a 95. This is just awesome stuff. Um, I still get this beer, so I think I might pick up a couple of bottles and age them. Uh, they're about 50 kronos, which is it's about ten dollars for a bottle this size. It's not that cheap. It's I it's I had it for about three or four months, uh, but definitely worth the money. So a 95 for the uh, the dollar Urbia Special Reserva. Great brew, tried with a steak, it is awesome. So guys, let me know what you think of the beer if you've had it. Maybe you hated it, as I always say. And uh, yeah, remember to comment, subscribe, check out my um, Facebook fan page, all that stuff. Really love the feedback from you guys. And I'm gonna say cheers now. And you know what I'm gonna do, guys? I think you do. I'm gonna see you in another Beer review.